Um, I am going to be doing something different today. I'll tell you guys about it in a minute. Let me just um, give people a chance to get here. Spencer uh, and I are not streaming together today, I don't think, unless we do it after the special stream that I'm doing today. Um, they, I don't want to talk too much about it. I need one of those intros, I guess. This is why people have intros. It's because it takes a minute for you to even get notified that I'm streaming. <laughs> but I'm supposed to, I guess I can say it more than once. I feel like this is all so rushed. I have seven minutes to get the layout ready. Bef um, and I'm not ready. <laughs> Definitely not ready. But... Um, I'm waiting. Um, Spencer's making me a quick chess.com logo. I'm probably not going to have time to put that on here. But if he gets it ready, I can do that. Anyway, um, <laughs> are you first, says Mr. Elias? No, I can't play anybody today. Um, we have um, the. Um, I'm going to be on the front page of Twitch today. Supposedly, if it works, this is the first time they've done that. And so they, um, <laughs> thank you, Mepex. So part of the requirements is that I play someone that's um, a, an affiliate or a partner. And I have heard that, Lords of Acid. <laughs> so um, I just put a tweet, I tweeted about it and Chess Coach wanted to do it. So obviously he's way better than me. So we're going to do some kind of peace odds type um, match. And I don't have any idea about being on the front page of Twitch. I don't know if that adds just a few viewers or a lot of viewers or what that means. But hey, Taco. Hey, CL Smith. So what I did was I should have done this yesterday. I tried to make a new scene. I'm going to click on it right now that's different because I want to have showed coach on there too. <laughs> um, yeah, time odds would probably be better. <laughs> but chess.com recently added the ability to do um, odds, and I think it's only piece odds. Um, I guess you could add time manually. So anyway, let me get on the other layout. Okay, I have to finish the lay. Okay, it looks fine, looks normal. I look too big. <laughs> All right, I can't fix it now. I guess it could be smaller. Maybe I could fix it, we got a minute. I just didn't have time to do a nice pretty layout and so it's just plain old text. But I didn't, you know, I, I didn't, um, yeah, let me go back to the other one. Looks like I'm bigger. But maybe, uh, you know why it seems like I'm so big? It is bigger, or maybe not. Well, all right. It probably is the same size. <laughs> I guess it feels like I'm big. Yeah, no chat on this stream. Well, the reason why is because when I connect with Coach in just about four minutes, um, you know, I don't think it's really that important for the chat to be there, um, <laughs> except for on YouTube, it won't be there. But I guess in an ideal world, I would have made me smaller and then put Coach there, and then we would still have the chat. But um, <laughs> that's true, Mr. Oh, yes, because Spencer's not here. And so um, that's probably why it seems like I'm so big. <laughs> Well, I just did it. The layout's not how I want it, but thank you, Kangaroo. Um, I have, I think Coach is doing it today and tomorrow. And, uh, hey, would you like to do it, CL Smith, next weekend? You could be one of my opponents. <laughs> <clears throat> Are 
Are you an affiliate already? You have to, it has to be for an, with an affiliate or a partner. Well, I intentionally am putting coach smaller because I'm the star of my own stream. <laughs> and so <clears throat> that's why he's smaller. <laughs> I know that is kind of funny. I told him that too. <laughs> But I guess most of the time when people co-stream, it's the same size. But you know, I'm the one on the front page. So I think I should be bigger. I didn't do any preparation. I should have given it a little bit more thought. <clears throat> um, you are a Twitch affiliate? Okay, well, we'll talk later. You can have one of the days. And then I was going to try to get a um, Dominic Nietzsche poker player to do it the other. Because uh, he and I are similar. Um, hang on one second. I just want to see if Spencer got the logo ready for me. <clears throat> Okay, sorry about that. I have like two seconds. I just need to real quick open my email. I hope it doesn't put it on the stream somehow. <laughs> but let's see. Okay, did I just want to get <clears throat> Spencer put? Um, I shouldn't. Have, I should have done this yesterday. So bad. Let me put this over here for a minute. Close that. Um, download. Right, close that. Hang on. I'm going to see if I can get the chess.com logo on here real quick. Once I connect with Coach, which will be in like one minute, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry to do this on the stream, but I don't think you guys really care. Let's see, this has got to be it. Oh my God, that's like the tiniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, yeah, that seems... Sorry, bad prep here. We're about to get coach on here. Man, that's so tiny. I'm not giving you guys any attention for a moment. Okay. Not that you need to be babysat. Well, maybe some of you. Okay, that looks fine. I just felt bad because I didn't even have chess.com. I'm a chess.com streamer. And I'm not important to them, but I should at least give them a little credit. You know, I am part of their streamer program. And I never, they, they made me lay out a long time ago. I thought it was ugly. So I've never... <laughs> had a you know nice layout like Ben with their logo so I'll just add it looks fine <laughs> um do I have prep no <laughs> okay so let me see if coach is ready okay he is ready let's try to get him on here and get the layout going <clears throat> Right, here we go. Join the video call. Hey. Hey, Karen. It looks like you are ready to rock and roll. And that's good. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, hey. Okay, so I'm going to move you around just for a minute. Because I couldn't align it. Because um, once you disconnect, the window doesn't look the same. So it's not a big deal. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, it looks better now. Um, I don't put you below me. Everybody was saying you were smaller, and I was explaining, you know, I'm the star. <laughs> 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 of, well, wait, why did this go off? 
darn. All these stinking malfunctions. So you're live. You are live at Rock and Roll, and everybody is saying hello, hello, hello. Okay, but let me um drag you down and then Yeah, that looks fine. I mean, this could have looked better. I This was very poor planning on my part with regards to my layout. But my people are telling me it doesn't matter. So, <laughs> so I don't know. I just wanted us to look as pretty as possible. Okay, that's, that's fine. And then I did add the chess.com logo. Spencer borrowed it from Ben's. I've never had it on here. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. <laughs> now, back over here for a minute. Let me, let me know when you're ready. Yeah. And uh, I would like for you to, um, you know, give yourself a little introduction for those persons who might not be familiar with who you are. Okay, just a second. Take All right. Time. I had to get my chat back. I don't like the way my setup is. Okay, coach is hard to hear. All right, that's good feedback. Can you guys hear Karen okay? Yeah, they can't hear you very well. Is there a way to turn the audio audio up? If you, if you go into the Discord and right click on me, mm -hmm. you should have a volume thing that you can drag. It's up. all the way up. It's all the way up. All right, so tell me what I do again, and then we got to start. You have to click on my name, right click on my name. In the left list? The volume option. Okay. I don't see a volume option. Why don't you turn your desktop audio sound up? It's up as far as it'll go. Mm hmm So right click over your name. So look in OBS. Mm hmm Look in OBS and raise the desktop audio in OBS. Um in your audio mixer. It's pretty f I mean it's up as far as it'll go. Almost. So I'm not sure. Yeah. I've just called out three different things to check. Mm -hmm. Well, it's right at three, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to solve that problem. You know, right. Let's, right just, now. let's just get to it. All right. Can you guys, let's see what they say. Who's got a, the Windows 10 volume at the bottom right corner. Do you agree with that, Coach? Sure. All right. Let me see what that's going on there. Open sound settings. Now that's up all the way, but it's got a different output selected. Let me try that. How is that? Talk again? Did that change anything at all? He is quieter than me, yeah. Hmm. Well, I didn't really see see anything on. Um... Let's, let's not stress ourselves about it. Okay. I, I, I won't. I won't do a whole lot of talking that uh, will influence your stream. <laughs> That's true. Raj says it's OBS settings, but. I, I I agree with that, but you also have to check your source, which is Discord. But let's not worry about it. Okay. Get ready to send you a challenge. Let's get it rocking and rolling. Okay, should well before we do you can send send the challenge, but I want to just talk for one second. Um Okay. Mainly because I don't know if we're can somebody check for me and see if we're on um the front page of Twitch yet? Oh, I am there. I removed his camera from the screen. Well that's not good. 
I didn't touch anything. Oh, I know what happened. I minimized it. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> That's pretty critical. Hey, Twitch people. My name's Karen, ATL Chess Club, and we are participating in a program um, whereby different streamers are featured. Um, and so this is my hour to shine. I have an opponent who's much stronger than me. Um, and we're going to do some, um, I, I don't know how many of you guys out there play chess, and but we're going to do some peace odds, which means we're essentially handicapping him <laughs> to make it a little bit easier for me to, um, to um, win or to, or to not, you know, or to do well. So anyway, I'm ready, Coach, if you're ready. And uh, hey, Jude, how's it going? And then just issue me the challenge, and we'll get started. What? Make sure you're in beta. Yeah, yeah, I never even left it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I sent you a challenge already. I'll challenge you again. All right. Let's see. It seems like it went away, the challenge. Can you issue it again? I don't even know what time control. Coach is handling all that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do five minutes. Five minutes, all right. Now, five minutes, and I'm giving her queen odds. Queen she odds. Queen. She doesn't have a queen. I didn't even know there was a donation. <laughs> missing a queen. Okay, let's see. Five minutes. Why am I not hearing stuff? I heard it. Oh. You heard it? Okay. I heard it. All right. It's fiery waves to Karen. It says good luck. All right. I'm sending you the challenge, Karen. Do you see it? I, I do, but I'm, you know, I'm also messing around with my stream some too while we start. Hey, it gave me the no queen. <laughs> maybe, maybe you need the challenge. Maybe you okay, I can do it. Yeah, I don't see that there was a donation. It's not even listed. Um in the yeah i'm already down a queen so i don't know about that ben oh you gave somebody gave ten dollars well why didn't i see it in the chat <laughs> thank you whoever gave it <laughs> hey i am rosen all right so i i'm not even going to try to give you a shout out but maybe kangaroo could do it <laughs> all right so let me go back in here And change the balanced odds. Okay, it says missing queen. Now let's try it again. <laughs> Yay, it did it. <laughs> All right, here I go. And I'm sorry that we can't hear coach very well, but I'll try to work those details out for the next time that I do this. But it's more important that you hear me anyway. <laughs> He's got to concentrate, you know, because I'm so hard. I, I hear you uh, smack talking. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, smack talking. Obviously, all um, talk and not, no substance there. <laughs> um, so I don't see that I have a whole lot more viewers because of being on the front page so come on viewers <laughs> coach quietly smack talks <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is going to be rough. You know, you're trying to lull me into a false sense of security. No, 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 no. This is going to be rough. I know what's going on. Because you're, you're playing like a real opening. Um, and I'm just missing a queen in the effort. <laughs> I'm 
Hey, Frankly, a go go. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to get this guy out of here. <clears throat> this guy, let's see. All right. Uh, I don't want to block my bishop. Sparty says, um, I'm pretty sure that Kieran is going to sack her queen any minute now. So we're just waiting <laughs> patiently for that to happen. Well, <laughs> it has been known to happen. <laughs> so, like, come on, Kieran. Sack your queen. It's sack your queen time. What did she do? She pushed this pawn. That's kind of annoying. We're just going to slide over here. We don't want any problems. Sack your queen, Karen. Luke and queen Luke. sacking, you know. Look, I'm down on time, too. Um, don't worry about the time. Time, time. Mm. Let's right, see. So do here. Yeah, I have a plan. I do have a Oh boy, that's kind of. Let me just not be involved in that idea that she's trying to demonstrate. Okay. Sack your queen. Queen sack, please. Let me see if I put my knight here. Pawn takes, pawn takes. <laughs> well, I mean, you already beat me once with when our two hey, practice hey, games. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Um, it wasn't easy then, and it's not easy now. Let's, Let's just do this, just in case. Mm -hmm. Two minutes. Oh, boy. That's unfortunate. <sighs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I need to, do I need to take? <clears throat> Little light check, just seeing how you feel. What's up? I didn't really want to not have that bishop right now. <laughs> I'm never good about knowing when to take and not to take. <laughs> no, I did not receive lessons from Petrosian. <clears throat> A lot of trades. <laughs> um. 
I was so low on time. <laughs> oh, you're playing CL Smith next week? Me too. <clears throat> we have to work out those details. I would like to play Dominic next week. So why don't you ask him about it, Ben? See if he wants to take a Friday or Saturday. What? Um, why did you resign? I can't hear coach. Why did, why did, why did I resign? Yeah. Because I bl I'm the biggest blunder, blunderer. <laughs> uh, let me, let me, give me a hot second. I need to put some clocks on, on my, uh, All right. Yeah, you can have a second. And you, you might Yay, I won a game. <laughs> hey, why don't we make the... The odds slightly less in my favor. Just slightly. What are you suggesting? I don't know. I, I saw tons of choices. I don't really know. I mean, you can choose. You're the one who has, uh, that's, who's doing the challenge. I mean, you're so much better than me. That was still hard, plus with the time. It was very hard. Mm -hmm. It was very hard. However, mm -hmm. you're driving. So Why don't we try Rook, or, rook Odds? And okay. then... Whatever you challenge, I, I will play. Yeah, we'll try that. And then if it's okay. if it's too hard, then we might have to go back to queen. Because you're, you know, several hundred points <laughs> better than me. I'm not saying I have to win. <laughs> All right. So, okay, so right now I have 55 viewers. And so I thought we would have more viewers than that being on the front page of Twitch. I'm not stressed. I'm just commenting on it. <laughs> Thank you, Elon Tusk. Um, you think I need Queen Odds? Terrific, Teddy. Well, it makes it easier. <laughs> we'll try Rook Odds, and then we can go back to Queen Odds. I'm the one that's doing it anyway, so let me get back over there. I'm kind of new to the interface. Um... Let's let me pick something. Let's see. Missing Rook and Knight. Okay, here's one. Missing one of the Rooks. Oh, it lets you pick which Rook. Um, I will right, we'll just try either one of them. Okay. Here we come. All right, here we go. Oh, it did it um, again where it did it for me. Uh, I gotta do it, I guess. So, I don't know, because uh, when I did it last time, it worked correctly. Well, let's try it again. Just try to do the yeah. same challenge and see what happens. Mm-hmm. It doesn't... Um, it's reversing colors. Okay. There we go. I don't know why it, um, the interface... Is a little clunky there. All right, we'll try rook odds. <laughs> right. um, I should have played my regular French here. Uh, all right, we'll just do something, 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 do something. There's no rook over there for you to take, so. Mm -hmm, that's true. <laughs> There's a pawn. So sure that's, that's 
I wish you guys could hear Coach, but, you know, we'll get it going next time. Yeah, I don't like you coming in on me like that. <laughs> hey, 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 listen, you know, I gotta come in. I gotta come in. I don't want you to be upset. It's something I gotta do. Yeah. Hey, can you guys hear Coach at all? I know it's not very loud, but... <laughs> Well, if I gave you the queen, oh, yeah, I didn't even see it. Darn. Now I'm not going to win. I was distracted. Now it's like, really? All right, but I'm not going to give up. I'm not resigning, even though I should. This is probably better. <laughs> yeah, I think it's you're going to check me. Darn, this is terrible. All right. <laughs> um, You're not afraid to check, are you? Well, I thought your knight was going to check me, but... So I wasn't sure... What you do? What do you think you're gonna do now? I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do that and try to block you off for a second. <laughs> um, Okay, let me make a little escape hatch. <laughs> Don't you run from me. Looks like it got blurry on my camera, too. You're blurry? Mm-hmm. Let me fix it. You don't want to behave. What? What's happening? And in a second, I need Just... to fix. I need to fix my camera. Okay. Let's see here. I hope that didn't mess up your feed of my camera. But if it did, we can. Good? Well, I changed it, the source briefly. Okay. Then it went back. That usually clears up any blurriness. So, hey, trying not to learn. Strangely enough, I can hear myself on your screen. Can hear myself on your screen. What does that mean? What do you mean? Well, you were saying before that. They couldn't hear me too well. But you think but it's fine? Hear. Okay. They say they can hear you. It's just low. It might be lower than you. Mm -hmm. I'll just try to be uh, thoughtful and not talk when you're talking. 
as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And we can look into it for the next time, too. Fine-tune it. It's not a huge deal. How do you feel about giving me a rook and two pawns? Yeah, it needs, it needs to be. This is, um, you know, you're crushing me here. But, of course, I did lose my queen. <clears throat> yeah, we can try that. I was gonna. I was thinking about sacking on you, but I was mm -hmm. gonna wait until you had less than a minute on the clock. Yeah. And I might. All right. What is this? Night going anywhere dangerous that we need to know about? I don't think so. Let's see. Jar right, just like make... squeezing me here. Just a little squeeze. Nothing wrong with a little squeeze. Mm hmm. Nothing wrong with a little squeeze. <laughs> I have no room to move around. Where do you plan on going? Um. <laughs> That's a point. <laughs> well, then, yeah, you need to go somewhere else. <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> Darn. I just couldn't move fast. Once I lost my queen, I got so rattled. So I'm only seeing 54 viewers, which is, you know, I'm happy because I'm not some big streamer, but I thought we would get less, you know, the normal amount that I get. The king side push is nasty, said Sinbad. <laughs> All right, go ahead and rematch. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm seeing, trying not to learn. I thought I would get extra viewers. And I don't think it's just because, you know, they don't like the stream. I mean, they're just, it just doesn't seem like um, we're getting some. But would have thought it would be like Chess TV. Yeah, me too. That's what I thought. But maybe like when Ben does it, for example, since he's well known, you know, he'll get a ton of extra people. I thought people would just check it out just out of curiosity. All right, so you want to try Rook and Two Pawns? Is that what you said? Whatever, whatever you, whatever you choose. We can try rook again, but because I think the problem there is, you know, I just blundered my queen. But I think that you're still going to beat me. But why don't we try rook one more time, and then we can try a different odds. Someone, someone in my chat said that you might not be getting a lot of viewers because Nakamura is on. Oh, okay. Well, that's true. But on the front page of um. Twitch, I think you're supposed to get, you know, random people, aren't you? I mean, I would well, think... Well, yeah, randomly, random people will see you. People that don't necessarily look for chess as a subject. Right. But they're not so by... You're going to get more browsers. Browsers, okay. You're more browsers. <laughs> I, well, I mean, that's not true, C.L. Smith. I thought I would get some extra, but that's fine. I'm still happy to try something new. You're random, Elon Tusk. <laughs> 
All right, well, let's play another one. We had another, another uh, viewer say that the JSCC is in full swing and a lot of people are watching Hans Neiman, the Norma. There's a lot of stuff going on, but I wouldn't worry about it. Let's, let's I'm not worried. Uh, it's more let's like... see if we can't get some distance on you in this... Uh, <laughs> And this, uh, okay, we gotta do this. I think it so just I think it, it's rotating colors is what's going on right so if you, if you just rematch I guess or do the challenge again it should flip the colors again let's try a Are rematch you the remap button, by the way? Uh -oh. but let's try it one more time one more time okay. and see if it'll switch it for us no what button did you what button did you press? Rematch or? This time I pressed rematch. Previous to that, I was actually, hey, City Lotremont, I was actually going into there and redoing and doing okay. it from the other window, but. Right. I was asking so I would know what I need to do. So I wasn't sure. What yeah. Do you... It's interesting that the rematch does give you the same color. Yeah. And. Uh... Mm -hmm. Do you want me to try it or are you going to try it? You try again, just try it. It should flip it. There we go. Okay, but it seems like it was my turn for white. <laughs> I'm wondering if it only gives odd, it gives the odds to white. I have never seen it give odds to black. Yeah, I think it only works for, um, yeah. I've never seen it give odds to black. Well, I mean, I guess you, since you're already at a disadvantage. You know, we'll see. it gives me the other disadvantage. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask chess.com for some clarification on how that works. Mm -hmm. And it would be nice if they would um, make their interface a little bit more flexible. Spari says, what's moving in the background, Coach? Is it a ghost or does Coach have a cat? No, it's my son. <laughs> he's he's stirring around from an afternoon nap. Yeah. He's he's stirring around. <clears throat> All right. So G six is your move. You like that move? Not you really. <laughs> but um, I feel like you're not letting me out over that way. So. Fee and Keto. You no matter what. That's your <laughs> position. You know, if I don't let you out that way, you you gonna come out another way. Mm hmm Okay, that's kinda interesting. Um how do you feel about this move? think I can get some kind of mating attack mustered up before you realize your extra piece advantage? Do I think you can? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I might decide to just take a pawn from you. It's kind of on my mind right now. I was looking at that. So there are four... Maybe I'll change what I'm going to do. Mm. Now, I have a couple choices. Oh, okay. I see what you're up to. Tell you what. Let's, let's work on your dark squares for a minute, if you don't mind. <laughs> um. We're going to work on your dark squares, and we're going to find out how you feel about it. All right. I don't want you coming over here. What 
happens if I go over here, though? I mean, I'm going to ask some questions. I know there might be tough questions. <laughs> um... That's a lot of pieces coming off the board. It's a lot of pieces. And I'm really curious if checkmate can be avoided. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think so. God damn it. <laughs> uh, you got me on a very um, pedestrian mate. <laughs> this is a little payback for the poker. The poker? <laughs> All right, I'm going to resign. Okay. Good game, coach. Showing your dominance here. From page hype. Hey, I heard a noise. I did hear that noise. Um, thank you, CD Lotremont, for the um, gift subs. Yay. <laughs> All right. You're, I mean, I think you're going to crush me if it's only Rook Odds. But why don't so what was your suggestion? You want, to switch it up? you want to switch it up to something else? Yeah, it seems like queen odds was a little bit too much. Rook odds not about, quite enough. What about rook and knight or something? Rook and knight. I think the first one we did was like rook knight and pawn. Yeah, I couldn't remember. What do you think? I'll do whatever you think. Uh, Yeah. There's an option. There's an option for you to get four moves as black. You get the first four moves, and then I start. <laughs> I prefer just to do peace odds myself. Hey, Lady Buell. <laughs> you don't think that six? What about you get the first six moves? <laughs> I don't want to do that. That I would rather do peace odds. <laughs> okay. I just think All that's right, a little bit more straightforward. Uh, He's frozen. Uh, Coach is frozen. Oh yeah. Hmm, so what do we do about that, Coach? You're frozen on my screen. I think I just refresh on in OBS. No, no, no. It's me, I think. I think it's me. Oh, you think it's you? Yeah, think Thank it's you for me. pointing that out, Jay Chester. I didn't even notice it. I think I'm frozen on my side as well. Oh, you're frozen on your side. <laughs> yeah. I would sing this song from Frozen, but I don't know it well enough, so... <laughs> I'm just going to toggle my screen to see what happens. Okay. Even though I don't show any frames drop. Okay. I'm just, I should be back in just a hot second. Uh, oh, yeah. You're moving on my screen now. Okay. <laughs> I know the Frozen song so bad. <laughs> um, He's actually frozen. <laughs> Yeah, you look good to me now. Missing rook, knight, and pawn. Minus 1,000. Missing rook, knight, and pawn. Let's try that one. Rook, knight, and pawn? Okay. Rook, knight, and pawn. Yeah, we can it's try that. It's similar to missing a queen. <laughs> All right, you're, are you going to initiate it, or should I? You should initiate it. Okay. Rook, knight, and pawn, you said. Rook, knight, and pawn. All right. It's going to be tough, but uh, we'll try to make it. Even though I'm not getting a lot more viewers, this is kind of cool because it forced me to get... I finally have the chess.com logo on, on a layout. <laughs> I just haven't prioritized it. They gave me a layout a long time ago, but it was ugly. So I just made my own that didn't even have my name or anything. 
All right, so I don't see it. Let's see, missing knight. It's miss... right next to the queen. It's oh. Down there with the, uh, the rating. Oh, I see. Rook. Oh, I see it. Rook, knight, and pawn. Yeah, they need to make it so you can do it for black um, or white. True. I have to be very careful because for some reason other people are challenging. Okay, we're going to abort this one and then let you do it again. All right. Send it again because it came as white. Yeah, if I can't get to work, maybe you'll have to do it. It's not clear to me how you... Um, you just came for the logo? <laughs> yeah, it worked. Okay. Yeah, Spencer made... I got Spencer to get the logo for me from Ben's stream layout, and he emailed it to me. And cause, but... Uh, I'm glad that they made it queen side is missing and not king so yeah that's like castle mm -hmm, that does make it easier for you not that we need it easier we need it harder <laughs> i'm gonna ask that you not try to trade pieces right away you know i know you've got this fixation with taking all my pieces and showing your dominance yeah she said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was just trading because you were attacking me so much. But um, in general, I don't like to trade. Interesting. Don't like to trade. Okay. Too much, especially my, you know. I'm, I'm, Maybe if I put this pawn here, you won't trade. Mm hmm. That's going to be true. <laughs> Still bothering me though. Uh, if I put my queen here, I better not let you take that. But I will put this over here and see if there's any kind of shenanigans on your queen. How do you like it? Uh oh. Really challenging me here. I'll tell you what, I'll take it this time. I'll just come over here for a second and see if there's anything moving. <clears throat> How do you feel about me taking your pawn? You know, you? I'd rather not lose the pawn. <clears throat> the other thing I got to get you to do is burn some more time. Burn the time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call for the burn, time burner. Where are you putting your bishop, though? Yeah, that's not good. But, um... I like the square. Now, you are missing a rook, a knight, and a bishop. Mm-hmm. Let's see. It's time for me to do some trading. How about a little trade action? No. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong? I asked nicely. Mm hmm. I see. to do I'm going to test something oh, where are you going you're going to test what I'm going to test changing my sound I want to see if it has any impact on the screen for you okay let me know if something weird happens
Darn, I'm just all jammed in here. Holy Cow says, Coaches, and hello, Coaches, son. They're saying, they're saying hello to you. I guess you should wave at them or something. Yeah, yeah, it's over here. Okay, there we go. All right, I guess I'm going to eat this pond because Karen is so generous. She's quite generous with her pawns. Well, oh, I know. It's quite generous with her pawns. This is just so bad. I didn't even, um, I just started getting all jammed in and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Obviously, not that. You're going to try to hold everything? Is that what this is supposed to be? Um, Let's check another one. Let me unjam for a second. I can't have you trying to escape, though. <clears throat> That's not an option. Let's see if this move works. It might work, it might not. What, you still trying to fix this sound? <laughs> no, no, this move I just played. Oh. You know, I'm wondering if it's going to work. What did you do? Queen C8. Probably uh, safe to get the girls off. Mm hmm. You agree? Yeah, fine by me. <laughs> and I don't usually want to get rid of my queen, but, um, or trade it off at all, but, you know. I'm thinking in this circumstance. Let's do it. I'm just going to run these pawns on down and see if I can't get another one. If you don't mind. Mm. No, it blocks off my protector. Darn it. I'm in trouble and I have no time. <clears throat> ah. Good game, coach. Get the girls off. <laughs> Seth said this is a chess stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was hard for me. I think we can stick with that one though, if you want. Um, that one was hard? Oh, hard for me. <laughs> in the pond. Okay. But I mean, the issue is I, I need to move faster, right? So, and then, so I, you know, we'll just try that one again, and then I may want to go back to just a rook, um, I mean, or the queen. Go back. <laughs> so send whatever challenge you want. I'll okay. Or right, hang on one second. Let me just check. Um, hey, the ta. <laughs> hey, everybody. 
In case you guys join late, I'm on the front page of Twitch. Um, it's a program that Twitch is doing, and my friend Chess Coach Net agreed to beat me up. <laughs> he's giving me odds, but obviously he's still dominating over me. Um, but I'm going to try my best to uh, win the next one. And that's what we're doing today. I don't know if I'm going to end up do streaming with Spencer. I might um, when Coach and I are done. Unclear. But anyway, let me get back over here. Yeah, we'll just do the same thing again. Let me see if it does. It's probably going to alternate. We'll have to abort it. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they should add the feature where you can specify the color. I will ask them about that. It can't be that hard to do it. I'll this is... See what happens. Are you going to play the French again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to move faster this time. All right, me too. <laughs> I have 3,094 followers. It didn't make a sound, so I lost some time there, like, waiting. Um, but... Holy Cow says, I hear Karen twice. Let me see. That's oh, because I, I, I've got the speaker playing. Let me fix that for you. Mm -hmm. any difference. A slight, a light, little light check. Is that a little light check? Yeah, just, you know, hello. A little hello check. I'm going to need you to, to ease up with these little light checks, though. You know, they're inappropriate and uh, totally unnecessary and uncalled for. If you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I know what you mean. Don't hear it at all. Okay, we're going to make another adjustment then. <laughs> that did not work. Thank you for that subscription, GM No Chance Ever. I don't know why I'm not hearing some of the sounds. Maybe I was just so focused I didn't notice that one. But thank you. <laughs> no money on the game, obviously. drones we're looking for all because it's good now i appreciate it holy pals my guy i think i'm gonna push this on anyway we knew all about that that's it's not a move that is terribly Stressful. Really want to put my knife here, but you might take it. You kind of got this attitude that you want to take stuff. You're demonstrating an attitude of capturing. It's uncalled for. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, you know. Now, you're up 
to something else. What, pray tell, are you up to? Should I kick this knight out the way? I'm being extreme weakness on my king. I'll tell you what I'm going to do because I like you. I'll slide this rook over. Mm -hmm. You could slide him on over. I knew you were going to try to take my queen or my rook. That's why I did that. Because, how should we say, you're unbelievable. You're unbelievable. I do have a plan. Oh, come on. Now, this is, this is getting to be a bit much. I can't just be chased around. Probably a decent move. Thought she was gonna do that. You just continue with this this, this harassment campaign. This harassment campaign that you are demonstrating. You're gonna take a pawn from me, huh? If I push, though, is it gonna be the end of the world for me? Right. Kind of glad you did that. I need one more break. Pin back ninety nine. Sending coach a nine vote. Oof, uh, oh, thank goodness. We got a blunder <laughs> from Karen, ATL Chess Club, in the house. <laughs> Darn. I, as soon as I let go, I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's hope that this is not going to be one of those type of blunders that just looked like a blunder and it wasn't really a blunder. Oh, it was a blunder. You're still up the world. Not really. And I only got 34 seconds. That's the important part. It's the minor detail that always eludes us. Who's um who's uh, who's requesting an unban? It's most people can be unbanned. <laughs> but, you know, you can type it here in the chat well, you know. That's got to be that shall go unnamed. <laughs> no. <laughs> My goodness. Uh. Am I in throwable? I'm just going to step right here and see what happens. 15 seconds. Will she make it? 10 <laughs> seconds. Will she make it? <laughs> No, I'm not going to make it. Go right here for a second. Oh my goodness, this is this is not the drones we're looking for. Can't go anywhere. Darn, I didn't even know it was checkmate. That's how bad I am. <laughs> yeah. 
I was like so low on time. I was just desperately, let me just check him. Oh, let me take the queen check. I mean, I knew it was close, but <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know it was made. I still won though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a luxurious, huh? I was trying not to say anything right there. Hey, I had a luxurious 1.7 second to spare. <laughs> I did it. Good job, good job. All right, so that was with um, I mean that is, I blundered my queen again. God, that was just I don't know what um. Why I did that? That was so bad. <laughs> well, that's making me say maybe I need to not be so aggressive and just wait on you. Wait on me to mess up. Yeah, I blunder my pieces a lot. <laughs> yeah, I blunder my queen. Yeah. Well, why don't we keep it with the same odds? Let's see what time it is. Is it, we're actually almost off of um, Twitch front page. Yeah. The time went so fast because I was actually enjoying the chess. Um, yeah, you can unban, you can unban map Danda, trying not to learn, um, but, you know, just make sure that behavior is, um, <laughs> is appropriate, and if not, there can always be a reban, um, but you can go ahead and unban, <laughs> and we'll just see, be good map Danda, now, if you're listening, Cause I like you, but you gotta behave or you'll get rebanned, okay? Now be a good boy. <laughs> Alright, well let's do it one more time. <laughs> Kang yeah, kangaroo likes the sound of that. Kangaroo likes to ban. Alright, well let's do it again. That was fun. But um darn, I can't I gotta not <laughs> blunder my queen. That was so bad. I think we gotta do this twice, yeah. Yeah, so then um All right, and then we'll do it one more time. Here we go. Looks like my camera got a little blurry again. <laughs> All right, she's insisting on the French, but she made a slight different move this time, the last time. I remember this, okay. I did. A little chin chin. Well, I, um, that's the same. <laughs> um, let's just hit a little spike check and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, that's fair. <laughs> see what's going to happen here. Castle. After <clears throat> all we've been through. <laughs> After all we've been through, you would castle on me. Alright, well let's we're gonna we're gonna fake castle. Yeah. You cool with that? Definitely. Don't 
Ching safety is a thing, true story. Ching safety is a thing, and I believe in it. So let's be about it. Oh shit, I didn't even see that pen. <laughs> I was trying to move my bishop. I was like... <laughs> gonna be yours ran out of ideas here appreciate you <laughs> thank you if I had known all I had to do was ask I would have been said can I have some let me eat this too yeah you're gonna do some eating this night going though. I'm gonna try something. Mm, maybe I shouldn't try something. Maybe <laughs> here. I'll go here, what do you do? I did have some other moves I could have played. Darn, I hate to be in this terribly passive position. Nothing <clears throat> wrong with a little passivity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give you a break because I like you. I'm just going to randomly push a pawn and see how you deal with it. kind of what I was hoping to see from you. You've been threatening to do this kind of stuff for a long time now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she wants to check. She wants to check. And I'm going to get out the way to check because why? I don't believe in the check. We don't believe in it, y'all. Don't believe in it. But what we do believe in is taking the tricky knight off of the board. The tricky knight must go. The tricky knight has to go. Mm -hmm. Should I take it now? My son John is over here calling out moves. That's okay. Yeah, I could get my stepson in here and call out some moves. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> or my husband, whoa. but <laughs> you know, I prefer to play my moves. Listen, nobody said call for backup. Nobody <laughs> said call for backup. <laughs> oh yeah, or my son, except for he's at his dad's. You, you're, doing, you're doing too much, man. You're doing... Darn it, I'm so low on time too. Again. Alright, let's see. Okay, thank goodness. The pawn has moved, the pressure is on. Now free to move around the country. Let's 
so since there's nothing going on right there, can I say, oh no, no, my queen is hanging. Let's not lose the queen. Let's not trade though. Let me calculate this. Knight takes pawn is a move though. Knight takes pawn. Let me calculate this. Knight takes pawn. I'm just gonna do it because I really don't believe in your move. I don't believe in your moves. That's what I thought you was gonna do. I fully expected you to do. And you have met my expectation. Darn, I know and I have no time either. Who needs time when you have all of the world? And no need to chase me, by the way. I have like point three. Darn, why am I so slow? So frustrating. Don't be frustrated. Well, I mean, I just don't know how to get, go faster. I mean, you're still winning right there. You're still winning. <laughs> I know, but I just get so slow. Your eyes are burning. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> Hey, hey, Barbie Bimbox. I think, you know, we're not on the front page of Twitch anymore, but, um, you know, Coach and I are still continuing. <laughs> How long did you want to go, Coach? Um, I want to play some poker, but I don't want to do it this early. Yeah. I was hoping to do it like around 7 or 8. Yeah, if you'll do it later, then I can play. Because I think when you and I are done... I'm going to get Spencer in here, and we're going to do our normal stream without a lesson. And so I can go as long as you want to go, and then... Uh, if, Where is Spencer? Is he close by? Yeah, he's in the other room. <laughs> okay, good. Why don't, why don't you do that, and I'll raid you, and then after you guys are finished, then I'll crank back up and, uh, and, uh, and do the uh, poker stream. Oh, okay, cool. So you think you'll do it around 7 or 8? I am mean, so excited to play some poker. <laughs> yeah, Barbie Bimbots, we know Coach's voice is low. So that'll be solved. We're going to do this tomorrow, right, Coach? Yes, we're going to do this tomorrow. 4 o'clock Eastern time, 4 to 5. So we can maybe meet a little bit beforehand to resolve the audio situation. Absolutely. Yeah, so maybe... Or, you know, maybe you'll even know by then. But how about we meet at, like, 3.30? We can figure it out. Yeah. Figure it out but, and then I'm going to make my layout a little prettier, too. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and raid you. Yeah, go ahead and raid me. And I'll go get Spencer. But I enjoyed this. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll do better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm raiding you now. Okay. See you, Coach. I'll see you probably at poker later. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me... I'm going to get Spencer in a second. Let me just... Um, shut the Discord window down. Yay, I heard a noise. Oh, that's the raid. Thank you, Chess Coach. Um, I'll be right back, people. I don't... I think Spencer's probably not on the stream, so doesn't know that he's about to be summoned. So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're going to have a lesson.
Man, it's cold in here. <laughs> uh, so Spencer's giving a lesson right now, and so he's going to come in here in about 20 minutes. Um, let me shut the door so I don't hear him. Okay. So, um, oh, Ben is going to stream around 5. Well, I didn't know that. Hmm. I'm glad you told me that kangaroo. So I don't know then, that might affect um, affect what I do. It'd be better if he'd wait until um, 5.30. <laughs> um, but let me text him real quick. Let's see, let me just see. And then I'm gonna play some viewers. Um, He's got, um, he's also going to be playing, um, I think Dominic today, and then maybe Coach tomorrow. I'm not sure. Let me just see if he'll wait. Hopefully he'll wait. He's saying maybe. Let's see. Gonna stream. Hmm. Well, he's on his way here, so we'll see <laughs> what's happening. You're not sure why these matches are being played. That's a good question. Well, it's just for fun. Um, you know, the Twitch, the Twitch rap. Um, my Twitch rep. I'm just an affiliate. I'm not a partner. But he emailed me and asked me, did I want to participate in what they call a community program where um, they they feature different streamers for an hour on the Twitch front page. <clears throat> and so I'm the only affiliate, actually, that's doing it. I'm sure they asked others. I just don't know, you know, why nobody else wanted to do it. So I'm doing it. GM Benjamin Feingold's doing it. Um, Rosen, Eric Rosen, she, you, although I think she likes to be called Nemo. <laughs> and um, uh, Andrea Botez, Botez, Botez Live is doing it. And um, that's, that's it. Like some other guy who I didn't know. So like five or six people. Hey, roller coaster. And hey, Q Hen. And so I was so excited to do it. And so we're supposed to challenge either streamers that don't play chess is fine or other chess streamers. They didn't seem to really care. And so Chess Coach is a friend of mine. And he's way better than me. So he was giving me odds. <laughs> Why do I always use the GM title for Ben Feingold and not any other GM or I am? That's not true. Sometimes I'll say I am Eric Rosen. <laughs> um, I don't really like to refer to him as just Ben, you know. He's my husband. Obviously, I call him just Ben. But... Um, Oh, it's extra formal. Yeah, it's meant to be extra formal. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it's meant to be. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> hi, just been. You know, I could just sometimes I call him just Ben. Obviously, if he were here, I wouldn't call him that. But when he's not here, I do refer to him as his full title, his handle. Yeah, it's his handle. <laughs> He's pretty good, and I can't call him I am Ben Feingold. <laughs> but it's a good question. A couple of people have asked me that. I think Try Not to Learn asked me that yesterday. Somebody thought it was funny. Hey, Scottish Demon Goat, you missed um, me us being on the front page of Twitch, although it didn't really make a big difference in the viewers. So I don't know. 
All right, I'm going to play some people if somebody wants to challenge me. And then I think Spencer's going to come in here in about 13 minutes. <laughs> and he's going to give a lesson. <laughs> and so forth. Let me get rid of this game. Oh, I need to go into live chess. I'm in beta. Okay, now I'm seeing a challenge. Yeah, I was in the in the beta because we were doing peace odds. Um, I never opened the Twitch front page either, but apparently some people do. <laughs> it's not true to say I never do, but I typically know the streamers that I'm going to watch. But occasionally I have gone in, I have gone to the Twitch front page, but I would, usually I don't either. All right. So I'll play a couple of people, and then Spencer's going to come in here, and we'll have a lesson. And not real clear on when Ben is starting, but he's driving here now, so we'll see what he says when he gets here. That was fun playing coach, even though he's way better than me. <laughs> And for those of you that don't know, Chess Coach Net is, we know him in person, in real life. He lives in the Atlanta area. And I've known him ever since, us before we even opened the chess club, before I even knew Ben. Because I, I've played a lot of over the board tournament chess in the Atlanta area. And everybody that plays tournament chess in the Atlanta area knows Coach. Um, because he's expert level and has played tournament chess for a million years in Atlanta. So that's where I first met him. <laughs> nice guy. He has a good stream too. Later he's going to be streaming. I'm going to get on there because he's going to do poker, which I really, I won the poker tournament. <laughs> when he had it on his stream before. And so I would really like to get in, play some more poker. I can't believe how much fun poker was. Um, Oh, shit. <laughs> I need to not curse. It's not very ladylike. <laughs> but I feel like It's almost part of, you know, <laughs> being from Alabama is you got to, you know, curse a little bit. <laughs> Flop the nuts. I'm pretty calm, so I think that I'll have if I ever do over whatever it's called in person poker, I have to get better though. I think that <clears throat> it's hard to, you know, I'm pretty fl low key. <laughs> Yeah, I've been enjoying this Silman. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I want to get back to some other lessons too, but I think it's kind of fun to go through the whole book. <clears throat> I've never actually completed a chess book, so this will be the first time. <laughs> All 
Oh, I didn't know it was my turn. It doesn't make the noise every time. That's so annoying. I gotta pay attention. <laughs> <clears throat> Darn, I didn't see that discovered defense. trouble I gotta try to move faster. It's hard to play, it's hard to, um, for me, to multitask and to stream. Hey, did you wanna come sit for a minute or no? Yeah, I gotta try, oh, gotta pray. I gotta try to figure out how to put the button on. Oh yeah, they sent that email out like, yeah. Obviously, way too. Daniel said it's easy, but I don't believe him. Well, I mean, they sent it at two thirty. Mm -hmm. Like, wait, is that already what it is, or no? Is that it, or no? Um, I wonder if we already have it. That looks like it. The point of the. Of the I didn't do anything. Right. The, I know, but the point of the button is it, not only can you have it follow you, you could just put anybody's in there, and it follows them. So you're supposed to put like your opponents in there. Or but I mean, you're pointing to something. I didn't do anything. No, I, I understand that. That could be we already have it. I already came with it. I don't think so. Well, that's just the normal follow button. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a button though. Yeah. It's but, not a um, dynamic one. I don't think. I think it just follows you. I mean, they were trying to make it so that it would be for the opponent. Right. Yeah. I agree. So, but I'll do it for tomorrow. I saw it. and I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I don't. I mean, that doesn't matter, obviously. I think what I could do if I don't get the button is just do the shout out. Because that's good. That tells them like their, their thing. Too. Yeah, I was going to do. Yeah, yeah, you could do that even on Moobot. I didn't have to. I'm going to do it differently yeah. for tomorrow for sure. Yeah. All right. I'm going to. So, what time are you starting? Yeah, I don't really care when I start. So. If you I, don't I'm, care, I'm gonna, I'd rather I'm gonna you continue wait. also. I'm not going to stop. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stop for like 40 minutes and then stream again. I'm just going to stream till 11 like I'm supposed to. So, I'll just be streaming forever. Like five yeah, I mean, I was just would rather you wait to yeah. start. Okay. Anyway, I'm not going to take a break, though. Once I start streaming, I'll be done at 11, as I was saying. Yeah.
So I think I think the outcome of that was um, Ben is gonna. Darn, just blundered that. Ben is gonna wait to um, stream, I guess, a little bit later. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I just did it again. I can take his rope. You take me, I take you. I uh, barely won. <laughs> oh, that was no good. <laughs> GG. Well, time made fools of both of us. Time makes fools of us all. So I guess Ben is going to wait until 5.30. Um, I was trying to play and talk to him at the same time. So when Spencer comes in here, I don't think we have time to play another game, and I do want to go ahead and start the <clears throat> the lesson so we'll just sit here for a second. Hey, James Laws. Hey, um, I already said hey to you, Sinbad. <laughs> yeah, well, this was drawn. Yeah, it seemed like it was, but I don't know. Let me see what the engine says. Um, I'm not sure how to... I guess analysis. Mm hmm Yeah, it looks pretty strong. And we played with almost exact same accuracy. <laughs> I don't know. It says it's um, equal. But, you know, that's with perfect play. Yeah, with the... Um, oh, wait, you're going again. Wait, let me... Oh, how do I close this? Yeah, it says it's equal, but... Um, let me put it at the end. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. Oh, no. Actually, um, it wasn't equal. Let's see. E6. Uh, King E6 was a mistake. Hmm. That was a mistake. Oh, we didn't have any time. <laughs> well, that, you know. Yeah, it looks like black was winning. Let's see, what the, let's see if we can figure it out. So in this position, it says you should go, let's see, what was I should have done instead? Uh, F3. I'm sorry, F, can't see, let me get my glasses on. Can't see the screen very well. Um, let's see, so H4 is a mistake. It wants me to go Oh, king e4. And I guess, yeah, you should have moved your king over. <clears throat> so if I did that, and then it says king h3, king f4. Okay, kind of shoulder you out here. Then... King H2 doesn't really want you to take. Let's see if you do take. And then I take here. Oh, okay. And then you're in zit swung. Then I. Yeah, then I just take your pawn. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, it looks like I could. Um. <laughs> Looks like I could have, you know, won if, if I had a bunch of time. <laughs> but that was still, you know, GG, except for, you know. What's next after the Silman Endgame book? Um, I don't know. Did you guys enjoy doing a book? I, that was my idea. Um, I just told Spencer I had, I had never um, completed a chess book, and I thought that it would be nice to do that one 
because it's pretty well regarded for in-game studies and it would give us a spine to kind of work from. Um, when I looked at the position where your queen was in the corner, didn't he miss taking your queen? Um, I don't know. Before that, I'm not seeing the queen in the corner. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me though. Yeah, it has been really hard lately, kangaroo. I agree. I think since we're close to the end though, I want to finish it. Then I thought we could we could maybe do a little review of the settlement at the end. Like a one day review and then maybe bring in some um I don't see the queen in the corner. <laughs> When queen was on a2. Oh, okay. I got a little worried up there because it seemed like the rook might come over. If that's what you mean. <clears throat> I was worried he was going to go because I even said, I think I'm in trouble here. <laughs> but then he went there and so I was able to retreat. Rook to a1. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, too. Definitely. Let's see what the engine says. I was, but then I, that's it. I even said, oh, I'm in trouble here. And then trying to, try not to, oh, you use, you lose both rooks. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. Because I get it. I have a check. I'll mm. be right back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it will be an exchange because of a check. Because I would take the rook. No, I wouldn't take the knight because he's got the queen. Yeah, so unless there's something I'm missing. If you went there, whoop. Yeah, if you went um, here, yeah, I couldn't take the knight, but um, because of the queen on g3, unless there's some weird tactic I don't see. <laughs> yeah, that's no good. Yeah, so I guess yeah, but it wouldn't. Um, I I didn't see that trying not to learn, so I was terrified you were gonna move your rook to a1. Um, but I didn't see that I was going to take with check and then get your other rook. <laughs> so, anyway, Spencer should be in here in just a second. Hello. Oh, you're like a, you know, an oracle or something. What do you mean? You are like Spencer should be here any second. I walked right Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew you were probably going to the restroom after your lesson. I was. Yeah. Let me scoot it over. I moved the chair over there, so... I was just gonna like do one of these, like where you sit mm -hmm. like this the whole time. JK. <laughs> yeah. So how was your uh, other stream? <laughs> it was fun. I've never used the peace odds function. Coach is just so much better than me. He is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. You gotta move over more. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't even looking at that. I was trying to... Um, See what's going on here? Well, not that so much as I was trying to figure out how to shut the window, but... Um, so. Right. There we go. How did you do against Coach? Oh, he actually beat me most of the time. I think mm -hmm. I only won one. What were the we odds? Or was it rook we odds? Did, we did for different ones. We tried um, a rook in um, a piece in a pawn. We started mm -hmm. had a, it was way too hard. And then a couple of times I was winning at rook odds. We did a couple of times. Mm -hmm. But the pr problem there is even though I was ahead, it's just I was so slow. He beat me. I look time. like the lead singer of System of a Down. Oh, what an insult. <laughs> so should you scoot up a little so that we're even or no? Okay. Is that too How's crowded that? for you? Is Are we even yet? It just the focus is better if we're at the same level. I think we are. You can scoot over towards me a little. Or is my chair in the way? I oh, guess it no, is. It's pretty close. That's a problem <laughs> with this chair. It's what bulky. 
it's good enough. That's why I didn't use it before. Uh, okay. Um, well, the guy from System of a Down, he's Armenian. And a lot of people say I look Armenian. Hmm. So that makes sense. Mm-hmm. System of a Down's terrible, though. Mm-hmm. So I think Ben is going to start streaming around 5.30. Okay. Um, Did so you, that, want, you want to get started with the... Yeah, similarity? I'm thinking we should. Yeah, and then, definitely. So S- Scottish Demon Goat, I can play you at the end if we have time. But since um, Ben is going to stream soon, we'll go ahead and start the lesson. Yeah, he was mm-hmm. going to stream at 5. I'm like, well... <laughs> I asked him if he could start at 5.30. I didn't get quite a commitment, but he did agree to he did defer it for a little while. I noticed that I saw one game, it was Rook Odds, mm-hmm. and I noticed that when the Rook is gone, uh, they don't play, they don't have the pawn on A3. No, that's because we have, I think... Oh, you said it that way. Yeah. Yeah, it should be on A3, though. Definitely. Because otherwise the pawn's hanging. You know, with no rook here, the pawn on a2 is hanging. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. That's they why, because like normal in a normal chess game, all your pawns are defended at the start. No, oh, okay, that's true. Their their um, rook odds feature has much to, or their odds feature has much to be desired. You can't set it for black. Right, right. Only be right. set for white. white. White can only give odds. So that so. means every single game, I was black, mm-hmm. and um, which I guess I understand. You're already at a you know, wide as opposed to yeah. an advantage, but still at our level or my level, you know that's not necessarily true. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you don't know much about him. What controversy is there? I think he's talking about the system of a down guy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe he meant somebody else. Though I wasn't paying attention. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we'll talk about the principle of two weaknesses. We talked about this last time a little bit. Yeah, and just for everybody that doesn't know because the title doesn't reflect it we've been doing the jeremy silman in mm. game complete in games book and what part are we in what did you just say eight eight okay so we're we're we doing the ve- the very beginning of eight or no we did the beginning of eight last time oh okay we did like the first section in, in part eight but now we're on the second section of oh okay eight. i'd forgotten that okay i'm sorry you just said that but all right so anyway that's what we're doing so go ahead all right so the principle of two weaknesses we hear about this a lot actually when people are talking about chess In the middle game, it's quite common to see a player saddling his opponent with as many weaknesses as possible. In general, it's hard to tear down a defensive position if there's only one weakness to attack. However, two or more weaknesses, or unfavorable imbalances, for example, weak squares, weak pawns, material disadvantage, or anything that causes a problem for the opponent, they often spread the defense enough to allow breakthroughs to occur. So maybe like one side of the board you're up a pawn, and the other side of the board they have a weak pawn. Mm-hmm. So you can press with your extra pawn on one side and also attack their weak pawn on the other side. So then they have two weaknesses to deal with. Oh, okay, yeah. So here's a nice middle game example that'll spill over into the end game. Mm-hmm. He promises. Yeah, the, to SM Rosny, to set odds, you go into, instead of live chess, it says live beta, I believe. And to to be able to access beta features, you have to actually join the beta club on chess.com and i forgot the exact name of it right now but once you join that club then you have ac- you can access the beta features i'm more about that alpha club <laughs> yeah yeah it's kind of cool it's a new feature they just added it that they need to expand it a little bit it's a little bit limited all right so here we go it's white to move just make sure this is the right position material is equal yeah Looks right. All right. This was Unziker against Donner from 1955. White to play. White's clearly better thanks to his passed pawn, which can push to d6 whenever he wants, and the loosening of Black's king's position. However, the passed pawn alone won't win the game. He's going to need to create another weakness to stretch Black's defense to the breaking point. I'm about to break. A4. They're asking what level of play is this chapter? This is the master one. This is like master. Mm-hmm. So this is stuff I'm going to learn from and you guys won't. Yeah, and I know it's <laughs> real hard for everybody, but I do think there's, since we're getting close to the end of the book, 
that we should go ahead and do it. And I got something yeah. out of the last lesson. I thought that last lesson was actually easier for me mm -hmm. than the previous it's one. Less technical. Because it was just pawns, and so for me it was just easier to tell what was in the bishops mm -hmm. but than the rook. The stuff with the <laughs> rooks was extremely difficult. Rooks are tough. Yeah. And it's funny because they, uh, they're they like the easiest piece to, like as far as how they move. Mm -hmm. Just very straightforward. You know, up and down, side to side. Can't right. get any simpler than that. <laughs> But still, they are very difficult in the end game. I felt Absolutely. like that, um, that 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 material was more difficult to understand than the last section, which theoretically should have been a little bit harder, unless it was from I don't know. Some of the rook lessons have been hard for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, it's different for everybody, I guess. Mm -hmm. You're a chess bra sub, so you can't be beta. Hmm. So this must be a joke. That'd be a joke. <laughs> All right, so a4. So here's his plan. He wants to play a5 and then take on b6. Then he'll have a backwards b pawn. Pretty simple plan. Mm -hmm. And also, if he does that, then b5 will also be weak because you can never play a6 in that case. So this is actually a common middle game idea. I've done this myself many times. But now Donner panics. Sorry, you are going to say something there? Yeah. So, you, I mean... How can you force them to have the backwards beat? Like they might take. Right? Here they might take. Yeah. Well, then they we isolated this pawn and that pawn. Give True. Give them two isolated pawns then. Oh, okay. Well, we're happy to you know ruin their structure anyway. Yeah. It's okay. up to them. You know, they so, want isolated pawns. They want backwards pawns. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> take your pick. All your right. Choice. I guess it is better to have just the one. Okay. Yeah. So this is why uh, Donner actually panicked here a bit and played the move a five himself. Mm. thereby preventing white from playing a5. He saw the writing on the wall there. But this is a dubious move. White has a strong pass pawn, like usual, and now it's still b6 is weak. I was about to say that. Yeah. yeah. Still weak. And b5 is a nice square for the knight, or you know maybe even the queen if they trade, to live on that square. So this is already even enough to force a win. White should be winning here. Although he doesn't actually give a... An improvement for black, at least maybe later he will, but not now. Maybe it doesn't matter. But, uh, well, I know why Donner did this, because uh, he didn't want the A file to open as well. You know, not that that's a huge deal, I guess, but that's why you would play A5, because then we can't open up the A file. But, anyways, Queen B5. Nice. Hitting that pawn. And then here comes D6. Nice. So he's hitting the pawn and he's pushing his own pawn. Tough. Queen c6. In the actual game, queen d8 was played. A little bit more passive. He lost with hardly a whimper. <laughs> After this. Like this. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Some lift. Queen c4. This is uh, this is a terrible position, and I'll tell you why. Obviously, it's bad, mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's not resignable. That's the worst part. So you can't like black can't resign here. That would be like stupid, you know. Mm -hmm. So he just has to suffer. Too bad. <laughs> Wish my position was a little worse so I could resign. So now if you take the pawn, I'll play like queen d8. A little tactical defense there. Uh, lost my spot. He played here. And then after this, he resigned. He says, we'll promote to a queen. And then we'll win your queen. Or you can use the other rook, but it's easier for me to do this one. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, too passive of a defense. And... That's the problem with the situation. He had a weak pawn, and this pawn was good. And you can't just sit back passively and defend when you have two weaknesses. Right. If one weakness, sure. Fine. But two weaknesses is too much. That's too much, man. <laughs> Classic Bojack. Anybody in the chat have anything to say? No, they're just chiming in. Agreeing with me. Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> Queen c6 would have been a better defense, so let's take a look. X clam. 
it is the next clam, I guess, because I wouldn't play that here. So now the point is you give up the pawn, but you're in a, an eternal pin. It's like the eternal flame, but pins. Mm -hmm. Rook b7. Hey there, Rogue Greco. I mean, Rook a7, obviously. And knight d5. So now the weakness of b6 is coming back to haunt him. Also, this would win the bishop as well. White threatens knight f6. And knight takes b6, which can't be stopped. White can torture his helpless and lost opponent in several ways. There. There. Here. Clearly the creation of a second weakness, which was b6, uh, is far from a trivial accomplishment. That's true. It, you know, paid off... The dividends paid off pretty well here. All right, that's it for this example. Let's move on to the next example. Okay, cool. I actually understood that one. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Yeah. I mean, the principle of two weaknesses is easy to understand as a concept. It's yeah. a little dif more difficult to put into play. Right, yeah, yeah. In a definitely. game. I can see that. But uh, these guys are pretty good, so it's it's really instructive to see how they get it done. Definitely, Scott Scottish Demon Goat says no B six, my favorite pawn. <laughs> That's true. That is his favorite pawn. <laughs> okay, let's make sure this is correct. Hey Neurononum, how's it going? Well, Neurononum's always uh, chiming in for just a minute before he goes back to school or whatever. No, school's for losers. All right, here's a game. It's a pretty recent game from nineteen oh seven. Rubenstein against Cohen. I don't know who Cohen is. C O H N. You know, a lot of people have that name. Mm -hmm. Rubenstein, pretty famous. White to move. So, an untrained eye might consider things in this position to be fairly balanced. However, White enjoys certain advantages that decisively tip the scales in his favor. Here's the short list Superior king position. Can't argue with that. A passed C pawn after a well timed C4. Black's A pawn is a target that can be attacked if White's rook is able to penetrate. Mm -hmm. That's it. Those are the three advantages that White has here. So, two problems must be addressed. One is whether Black's E pawn is a strength or a weakness, uh, the other is trying to find a way for White to infiltrate with his rook. So uh, Rubenstein played a really nice move here. Rook h3, x-clam. This maneuver aims to turn black's kingside pawns into a weakness. Defending h and g pawns will force black to make some concessions, which, when taking white's other pluses into account, should prove decisive. There's only so many problems you can have in one position. h6. Mihail Marin, who's a, a great author and grandmaster, mm -hmm. in his fantastic book, Learn from the Legends, Chess Champions at Their Best, gave a couple of ways White can successfully deal with g6. The idea of g6 is that, well, if you take, you can't take my other pawn when I take this pawn. Uh, let's see what Marin has to say about this move. Here's one. He gave a couple of examples. Here's one. We'll still take this. But now we can go around and attack this weakness again. If you try to take here, we can take this. And here, and this should lose for black. I've got this passed pawn. I can take that. If you try to defend it, I can take that. So rook a6 to not give you a passed pawn. Rook c6, obviously, to not give you a pass pawn. Now we're threatening this. That would be deadly. But look, we still got to take the pawn anyway. Here. We'll go on a bit here. Actually, quite a bit, I should say. There's a lot of moves here. Hopefully I don't lose my place too many times. It's like so many moves. 
Mm. Still tough. So he only got to take one pawn, which is kind of nice. So he doesn't have a pass pawn yet without having to move his king. Which will take a minute, at least. So that's what he does. Nice, this is nice. Check in rook a2. Got him. He can still try to fight a little bit here. But now we'll be able to stop his pawn and win the game. For example, let's say here, I guess. Yeah, too bad you can't go here because you'll hang your pawn. But now we can we win easily here now. Frankly, obviously. <laughs> so that was a very long variation. So you can tell from me rewinding it here. What book is this? Lert 94? <laughs> this one. Stillman's Complete Endgame Course. And then Trying Not to Learn says, why not Rook B6 again? Why Rook E6? I can figure rook out when e6. he means it. Yeah. He wants to go here. Okay. Instead of Rook E6. Hmm. That could win. That could win. Yeah. I mean, this variation won, so you can't really complain about it. This move could win, too. I mean, I'd imagine even this move might win. But that's a little tougher, because after rook a3, you can't move your rook anymore. So you should move your rook, yes. Yeah, you should move your rook. Probably rook b6 does win, I guess. It looks like it should. Mm -hmm. I don't see a big difference. Well, you get that check. Yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you get a check, but you, you have to move your rook here and then move it back. Mm -hmm. So you don't really gain time. True. Should be about the same. But I think it, it is a, an improvement because we don't have to play king takes. So our king can stay here, and that, that might be better for defense, actually. Mm -hmm. It might not matter. But I don't know. You'll have to ask Mihal Marin about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mihai Marin. Mihai Marin? Mihail Marin. <laughs> it's because there's another grandmaster, Mihai Suba. But he doesn't have an L at the end. Mihail Marin does have an L. Uh, Mihail Marin. Yeah, hang on a second. So yeah, uh, so you're studying that yourself, Lert. Well, that's cool. Nice. We've um, you can check our video. Spoiler alert. <laughs> you can check the video um, on demand um, lecture uh, streams, and you can see all the book that you missed, um, mm -hmm. and also on our YouTube channel. Absolutely. If you're interested. <laughs> How much is the book? I have no idea. I've had it for a while. It says it's 25 bucks. But, you know, that could change. Mm -hmm. So two new weaknesses. Since he played here provoking h6, two new weaknesses have occurred in the position. g6 and g7. Here. Now you could play g5. But then we'll go back here. And you're actually losing a pawn, I guess. Mm -hmm. Because if you move your king away to protect, I'll take the e pawn. So that's not great. So he played king f6. That's the probably the best defense. But now he gets to get his king in here. And this is exactly like what we're talking about when we talk about stretching the defense. He had to defend these squares with the king, but that gave up this square. So we get in this way. He can't defend everywhere. White's vast superiority is now strikingly clear. White's king is completely dominant. And black's e-pawn has now been labeled as weak. Can't argue with that. Mm -hmm. Here, check. Classic Rubenstein here. G3. Nice. He doesn't, he's not in a big hurry. As discussed in the cat and mouse section, a player shouldn't hesitate to make a quiet fixing move if his opponent is helpless, which he is. 
placing the pawn on g3 gets the pawn off the second rank in case he wants to play check and come in here. Now there's no pawn to attack on g2. He can attack one pawn, just play h3 or mm -hmm. h4. And yeah, having all his pawns on the third rank makes sense when he's got his rook here to defend them all. Really good technique by Rubenstein, as you would expect. Is this class A and who are the... This is the master section. The players are Rubenstein against some guy. And when the king gets to b6, it will be all over. That's true. Here. Now we can try to pick up that pawn. He says no, no, no. But here we go. Finally get our pass pawn that we talked about earlier. Yeah, now he's just totally helpless in this position. Such good technique by Rubenstein. But that's what he was known for. Rook A8. Now that looks <laughs> not great, <laughs> to put it mildly. But if you try to play more normal, like this, maybe here, but okay. It's not going to help, really. So he plays Rook A8. I mean, I wouldn't defend that way, but it's hopeless anyway, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> For K8 to exclaim. And resigns. White will win the black pawn, or the black rook for the pawn by going here and there. And then even if black does the same and then takes with the king, we'll just go take this and queen. Because our king will be over here and the king will be on G1. So it's an easy, easy win now. Really nice. So that was a great example by Rubenstein. I really like how he provoked the weakness here, forcing the king to go to f6, and now he can infiltrate. Mm -hmm. And then he just made it look too easy. g3 is really nice. And c4, and then it's going to win for sure now. Yeah, the guy tried his best, but I guess your best wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Akiba or the other Rubenstein? I think it's the chess player, not the pianist. <laughs> Just a guess, though. Hey, let's look at another example, then. Yeah. This will be a nice uh, Smyslov example. Big fan of Smyslov. Although my favorite world champion is uh, Tigran V. Trojan, not to be confused with Tigran L. <laughs> We do all this. Yeah, all the streams last night. We're every, talking about him. Oh, everybody was talking about the cheating scandal. <laughs> yeah, it was good on Wesley to I call him out like that. Yeah. I love how Wesley did it too. Oh, thanks, GM Benjamin Feingold mm -hmm. for two hundred bits. Like all Wesley did was say that he played very well, but then everybody knew. Oh, okay, he's cheating. That's why he said that. <laughs> you know, like it wouldn't have been uh, an insult if uh, if the guy wasn't cheating. If you're like, wow, this guy's playing better than Magnus. I'd be like, thanks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, he went on <laughs> to say other stuff too, but yeah, that, you know. He, well, that's what started it. It started least. it. Yeah. But oh, it was. And GM Benjamin Feingold gifted a tier one sub. Yeah, thank you, GM Benjamin Feingold. But I mean, it was clear that um, <laughs> mm -hmm. he was saying the guy cheated. And then people were calling him out for it. And then next thing you know, chess.com, because they said you shouldn't talk about that here. And then, mm -hmm. then they issued a statement. Oh, thanks for the $5 donation for a haircut. <laughs> Haircuts cost more than five bucks, though. Thank Come you, on. Marquette Sands. Is that for me a haircut or you a haircut? Probably me. <laughs> oh, mine needs cutting. <laughs> oh. I haven't had a haircut since the pandemic. 201 bits from it's trying not to worry. Thanks. <laughs> thank you for that. Oh, and Market got a, uh, a thank you from a grandmaster as well. Yay. All right. All right, so... We'll look at this position. It's Smyslov with white against S Simajin from 1966. Okay, cool. Thank you for that 201 since today's trying not to learn. I didn't see that till just now. Oh, I said thank you. Oh, I didn't even hear you. <laughs> yeah, I'm always saying thanks. So here, white has an annoying edge. 
Oh, another two, 202 bits. We're going up by one bit. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Aside from his superior kingside pawn structure, both his rook and knight are more active than the black counterparts. The main target is uh, Scottish Demon Goat's favorite, b6. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but before laying siege to it, white finds black, white fixes black's kingside pawn weakness. g4 exclam, a great move. Now f6 and h7 are long-term additions to black's list of problems. Indeed, this was a great move because if you're if you have black here, you'd like to play f5. Mm -hmm. Oh, 203 if I'm trying not to learn. Yay, thank you, nice. trying not to learn. Now, wait, now, I'm sorry. I missed what mm -hmm. you said for ob obvious reasons. So, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I know what it was. Just keep going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just got confused for a minute. Oh, I could tell you some things that I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So white's rook's better. Okay. White's knight's better. Yeah, I got that. So we're going to target the b6 pawn. And also black has weak pawn structure here because it's not on g6. So no, oh, okay. That was what I didn't hear what you said. I, under, I can see it now. I just didn't hear what you said. So g4 stops f5, mm -hmm. thereby making this pawn extra weak, mm -hmm. which is nice. And now h5. Black doesn't want to wait for white to play rook c6. Followed by this, which would collect the pawn because you have to move your knight and I'll take it. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't really want to wait for that. He's trying to do something to distract white. But uh, Spinsoff's like, oh, look at that. It's a free pawn. Give me that. Give me that free pawn. No, no. It's, I'll take it back. Spinsoff's very insistent on his free pawn. Here comes the check. And f4. So good defense by black so far. Simagin is, is not a weak player. I've heard of him, actually, although I don't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> but I've seen him around town, you know. And f4 is, is definitely a good defense. Trade off one of his doubled pawns. Right? right, yeah. Why not? Rook c8. What are you saying, Scottish Demon Goat? The most precious pawn? B6. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And rook d5. Trying to get that back. I mean, if black could win back his pawn, he'll be all right. Let's see, I lost my place as usual. Okay, check. Why does white defend and not go with your plan, says Lert? Well, he likes to be a pawn up. That's all. If he can keep... This is a passed pawn. If you can keep your extra passed pawn, you might as well. That's what he wants. He just wants a passed pawn. Yeah, black gets to take the pawn back. Like, uh, like, let's say, probably here, instead of going here. And he does this and that. It's a success for black to have traded the h-pawn for the g-pawn, in that case. So, Smithsoft's not going to give you a success. Thanks, Southern Chris, for 204 bits. Yay, everybody's outdoing everybody. Thank you, Southern Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so, he doesn't want to, uh, he doesn't want to say, like, oh, that was a success for black to trade the h-pawn for g-pawn. Smithsoft's trying to refute that by just being a pawn up now. Mm -hmm. Oh, 205 from GM Yay. Yeah, Feingold. Thank you, Ben. It's like an auction. <laughs> it's like when Amy was buying a car on Futurama. <laughs> you guys know Oh, that, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> so I thought it was an auction. <laughs> I actually have seen that one. I've only seen like a couple of... That things. is a really good scene when they're at the car shop <laughs> buying a car. That was too funny. I've seen that in the, the dog, the dead dog. Oh, that's a sad one, yes. <laughs> That's about the only two I've seen. So he checked him to get his king off the pawn. Then he goes here to attack the knight. Easy stuff to understand. Then here threatening e6. Um, also preparing an attack against black's king. Yeah, rook and knight uh, are a potent mating combo. Mm -hmm. So don't forget about that. He, want, he might want to play knight f3 to g5. And if he, his rook, knight, and pawn, and king can get in on it, it might be mate town. So, rook e5. This prevents knight takes e6, obviously. But uh, it gives white time for his king side plans. Rook e4 check. If you take the pawn after... Oh, 
played it again. <laughs> you take the pawn, then after here you can't defend this. It's impossible. You know, rook f3 would hang the rook, so. So he gives the check. And now it takes. Thinking, haha, can't play knight g5. Taking here is a mistake, though, for the record. He should play knight d5 with a much better defense. Although, he doesn't, Silman doesn't really say if this is, you know, a win by force or not. Obviously, white's still much better. But either way, knight d5 is a better defense, as we'll see, rook e3 is going to lose. Check. And then check. A little deflection here. Both sides only have two pawns left. So one might expect black to have real chances to survive. The problem is, though, that black's king is in serious trouble. By mixing threats to black's king and pawns, white can eventually pick up on b6 and walk away in a one rook and pawn endgame. So here, knight e4. Oh, sorry, Scottish demon goat, not knight d5 protecting b6. <laughs> Black needs to have his knight participate in the defense. Jumping into e4 doesn't work, but neither does knight d5. Knight g5, this is a Scottish demon goat's move here. E5. Losing instantly would be to take knight h7 with mate. They actually can't really stop that. So uh, knight g5, e5. Knight here threatening mate again. Knight f4 check. This is the point of playing e5, is that we're allowed knight f4 check now, because it's defended. Knight takes, e takes, rook takes. So now we're a pawn up. That's a good start, if you want to win. And he's just going to go collect the b pawn. He's not going to try to save this pawn. What's nice is the rook cuts this off, and then we'll go win this. We already know from like part 3 or whatever that this is a win. Which, uh, even if we didn't know that, it would be pretty clear. So here to try to cut him off, but now rook f5 to go like this. Mm -hmm. And there's no way that black can prevent this. You can't stop me from going here and taking it. Right. If you ever hey. attack my pawn, I'll just go there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Frankie Lioness. This is a forced win now. So knight d5 doesn't get it done. Scottish Demon Goat says, I was talking about the other position where knight d5 was suggested instead of taking a pawn. Here. Oh yeah, knight d5 is the best of the phrase. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Knight e4 is what he played here. Here comes the h pawn. Here comes Utah. And resigns. Yeah, got him. It's definitely going to win now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah, really nice technique there by Smyslov. As you'd imagine. But yeah, he could have defended better with knight d5. Still, I kind of wonder, why can't I just do like he did? I guess I can. Well, in this variation, he's a tempo up because he already has his knight on d5. Taking here a transpose to what we looked at. Oh, now we can go here check. So we couldn't do this in the other variation because the rook was already on e3. Mm -hmm. But now we can just check here. That's his, uh, winning for, for black, actually. Because, you know, you lose your rook. Even knight here, he could play rook takes knight. So the rook takes e3 was bad because it, it doesn't have that defense in this position. I can't go there. And now this is allowing me to, like, mate you with all my guys. 
like how we saw in those okay. variations. Tough. I wish Silman would have said all that so I wouldn't have to figure it out. <laughs> You'd still draw that as white? <laughs> well, with the end with his two pawns up? Maybe. Maybe you would, but I don't think Smyslov would. <laughs> was that Smyslov? I already forgot. I think he it just, was, yeah, says Smyslov. There's so many games that we've looked at. It's like, can't remember. All right, we got two more examples. You think uh, yeah, we can sneak them in, right? Maybe. I wouldn't go. We don't want to go late. But All right, that's right. Let's try um, to. Let's do one. And, yeah, see how it goes. And if we can sneak, sneak the other one in, then it sounds like we should. <laughs> Is that from the same section? Same yeah. Section? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, because I'm not sure if he's going to be ready. He's, I think he's just waiting on us. I think he's already ready. Already Richard ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ben is going to be streaming soon, and we're going to raid him. And he's going to also get to be on the front page of Twitch. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That is cool. That is cool. All right, so here we go. Aliakin against mm -hmm. Samish from 1925. Why does an extra passed B pawn? Doesn't, he doesn't wish to push it right away since that would expose his king. Instead, he patiently plays to create a second weakness in black's position. Queen d4. Here's a quote by Alyakin. By this and his following move, white selects the correct winning plan, which is the advance of his kingside pawns. The passed b pawn must be advanced only later when the exchange of queens... when, with the exchange of queens, the danger of perpetual check will be eliminated. I like how Alyakin, he, he always does this in his comments. Alyakin will, uh, he won't say, I did this or, or I should do that. He'll say, like, White did this or White is going to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, he keeps it very objective. <laughs> yeah. Bishop d3, x clam. It's like he knew other, the, the generations would be reading the analysis, you know. He did know that. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Now, if you take the pawn, you get forked. So he plays uh, king f7 instead. And there he goes. He's making some weaknesses. h seven's weak now. Queen c6. And bishop e4, x clam. White could have exchanged queens with queen e4, but he decided to only do so when the h pawn is fixed, forcing the black king to stay and babysit the pawn. So if you trade now, then I can play h6. Mm -hmm. So what Aliakin wants is to play here first. Oh, yeah. Then he'll trade queens. Then you have to keep your king on g8 the whole game, which will definitely lose. Because otherwise, you know, you lose your pawn. Mm -hmm. It's not acceptable. White didn't fall for this. Takes. Oh, come on. Takes. Takes. Check. I am moving the king. Check. Mainly, etc. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's going to be a lecture or not. I don't know. I'm not sure what all Ben is doing. I like lectures. Mm-hmm. Queen b5. Hey, intelligent. How's it going? Nice. Hope you're feeling all right. Right. Our COVID uh, watcher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> H6. So now he's happy that he fixed that pawn on a light square forever. So then once he trade, trades queens, he's going to win now. He can push this pawn, and he's attacking that pawn. Two weaknesses. Good technique for Maliakin. Not what he's really known for, but obviously he could... Uh, he could win an endgame with the best of them. Bishop c2, x clam. I can't take the pawn because your knight's hanging. So queen b5. And now he forces the trade of queens with queen d3. Only now is white ready to force the trade of queens. The difference between this position and earlier, as we already mentioned, is that the h pawn can't go to h6 anymore right. after the queen trades. Mm. Hoshi, you should turn your notifications on, then you'll be notified when the stream starts. That is smart. Aw, sorry you're late, though. Now, for the record, Bishop takes also wins, 
But that would be bad technique. Because you know that you're going to win here. Because mm -hmm. it's two weaknesses. Here, they could check you a lot. You know, they could yeah. check you a lot. So you, you don't know that you're going to escape the checks. Well, the computer says the wins, I guess, because he said it did. I assume he checked with the computer. <laughs> See you later trying not to learn, unless you said that to somebody else. Oh, no, he said I'm going to grab food. Yeah, he's always grabbing that food. Nice. <laughs> All right, see you in a little bit. Try not to learn. I probably I'm not gonna be playing viewers today. Intelligent. Mm -mm. Um, Got too much to do for that. But um, mainly because Ben's waiting to start streaming. Otherwise, I would be happy to. Knight c8. Yeah. Well, he could have defended his pawn with King g8, but then you're gonna lose. Just play, push the pawn, bring my king up. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Just means you're, you know. <laughs> You know, eat some food. <laughs> a good amount of food. Even thin people eat food. Or so I've heard. I don't <laughs> well, know. Well, he's in, in college, <laughs> so, you know, he probably eats more food than... After this, average. Black just resigned. It's amazing what a second weakness can do in the opponent's position. He created this weakness, and then after he took it, the guy has to resign. Mm -hmm. And if he defended it, then that was losing as well. So what do you think? We have time for the last one? Still 11 minutes. It's I, kind think of a so. lot. I think yeah. so. I think so. Because there can be a little bit of overlap. Yeah, just a little I just, bit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're a growing lad. <laughs> so this will be Oiva with white against somebody I can't even begin to pronounce their name. Actually, I could. Just give me a second here. It's tough to pronounce the name and set up the position. <laughs> White to play. This looks right. It's Van Duis Duisburg. Van Duisburg. From the Dutch Championship 1938. Before going on, I can imagine some of you screaming, Wait a second, White's a pawn up and should be winning easily. Why bother even using such an example? It's a fair question, but I can answer it with a question of my own. How often have you, meaning all of us, failed to convert such a decisive plus? Hey, I've been up a pawn and not won. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. The beauty of this game is that White doesn't rest on his laurels, nor lose his concentration. In fact, he does what we all should learn to do in such situations. Don't give the opponent any counterplay whatsoever, and constantly strive to make new positional gains in the form of multiple enemy weaknesses. Let's see how he does it. Queen c5. This move more or less forces black, who would love to retain the queens and keep things as complicated as possible, to accept the trade of queens. Since both a6 and b6 run into queen e5. Or the rook will be permanently pinned to the king. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we changed anything intelligent. <laughs> but I guess Twitch could have. So, he goes queen f5, threatening the f-pawn and allowing the trade of queens. So white's happy to be in a rook endgame up a pawn, wisely bringing the king into the center. Absolutely horrible would be rook c5, don't be in such a hurry. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a subscription. Oh, actually we got 10 what? subscriptions Yay! from account 1 mm -hmm. million or so. Thank you, account. Ten million, it's hard to see all, One, zeros. all your zeros. Thank you so <laughs> much. Yay. I appreciate it. See, okay, so it's a pawn up king and pawn in game, but black's king is a lot better. And he can try to make use of that like this. In fact, black's probably better here. Mm -hmm. Certainly not winning, but maybe, <laughs> maybe winning, yeah. So anyways, don't be in a hurry to trade into that endgame. Let's bring our king up first, then we'll trade into the endgame, then we'll win. There we go. We can look at it just to be sure. Nice. A5, still trying. I'd love to go A3 here, but we can check. Forcing the king away from the c-pawn so we can take. And now black is lost, obviously. Down two pawns. Mm -hmm. 
So, rook f6. And now rook a5, x clam. Strong move. Forces the creation of the hole on b6. And uh, after white plays a4, a5, that'll be even worse on b6 for black. White isn't trying to win by simply using his extra pawn. He's trying to create as many weaknesses as possible in the opponent's position until the defense falls apart. You can never give your opponent too many weaknesses. True. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hey, Indo Queen, how's it going? Thank you again for all those gift, those gift subs account. I really appreciate it. Rookie five cutting <laughs> the king off. White's very patient here. Rook d6. And a5, freezing. The, the big freeze, remember? We talked about that mm -hmm. earlier in the, in the book. Black could have stopped that this way, but even still after a6, he still has weaknesses. So it's not like that would have been much better. So that's why he just allowed him to do this. Now, if black does nothing, white's going to do that. Go to Scottish Demon Goat's favorite square. So f6. Here. Glad you're enjoying the Silman, Southern Chris. Now that black is more or less helpless, white begins a new plan. <clears throat> he wants to take this pawn and then have a passed e pawn. So he goes, nope. But here it is. He's going to break on g5. Mm -hmm. Except for one thing <laughs> h5 x clam. G5, H takes, H takes, F5 is black's defensive idea. This would still win by getting his king to B6. Um, also, he could play D5 at some point. Mm -hmm. But H5 is even easier to win as a way of a plays. GH, no better is to play G5, F takes. You have to play F takes because... H takes to give me a passed H pawn. But even still, I have a passed E pawn. And look at all these weaknesses. This is weak, that's weak, and I have a passed pawn. Mm -hmm. Three weaknesses. Check is a strong move here. And now his pawn can't be defended by the king. Or if he put his king here, then he can't defend against the passed pawn. So this will be a pretty easy win, says Silman. Hard to disagree with that. Already three weaknesses. So he took. That's the right decision. But now look at all these weaknesses. Everywhere there's a weakness. Mm -hmm. Black's not only a pawn down, but also must care for all of his weaknesses that I pointed out. And even being a pawn down is a weakness in itself. So that other position is really four weaknesses. Things are looking grim, so black allows a little sequence that leads to an exchange of a few pawns. However, this doesn't really help. Black's happy to trade off all those weak pawns. Um, unfortunately, it's just dead lost here. Rook h2. This threatens rook f2, which would be game over. So he's got to go here. Only reasonable move, I guess. Because mm -hmm. if here, we still get checked. And you have to go to the g file. And you're trapped the rest of the game. So Oiva calculated all this. There's no choice again. He ha if he goes back, he gets checked. And if he goes here, check, you have to go to the G file again. So still Oiva was calculating all this because it's all forced. And B4. No counterplay here. Doesn't let him play C5. Great move. Black is now in Zugzwang. Any pawn move loses material. King moves are illegal. Moving the rook away from the D file allows rook D6. So he played rook D8. But this allows me to go here. Yeah. Awful. <laughs> Awful stuff. <laughs> Rook E7, X clam. Super precise. Black must give up his B pawn or push it. Rook E7 is so good. It's still Zugzwang. You can't go here. It's illegal. And so you got nothing to do. You have to push your B pawn. Moving your Rook loses your B pawn. So he did this. After check, only legal move. Check, resigns. Gonna lose everybody. Really nice game by Oiva there.
Mm-hmm. Very was, nice stuff. Really nice. He outplayed him at every point. And then he traded all the pawns because he saw mm-hmm. he could force that Zugzwang position, too. Really good. That's impressive. No wonder he was world champion. <laughs> and people are always trash talking him, too. Yeah? Yeah. People are like, oh, Oi was the weakest world champion. Aw. <laughs> Still pretty Still good. Still pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's no joke. <laughs> Well, you missed the match part, Fabs. I should have changed the title. Um, mm-hmm. But um, I, we weren't sure that we were going to do a regular lesson. Um, Thanks, Naranonum. Thank you, Naranonum. <laughs> well, it'll never be three nights, mate. <laughs> I can't think of anything more useless to study. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do it at the end just for fun. I don't you know. even know it, though. Well, you know. You have to get GM Benjamin Feingold to help. You, I'm <laughs> sure you know how to do it, or you could figure it out quickly. Yay, thank you. What There was something else. Oh, thank you, account, again. Look at all this Cincy Doos. 1,000 Cincy Doos. That match already ended, Indo Queen. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. I should have changed the title, um, but it was a little bit over an hour. I don't even know. I mean, He was giving me peace odds. Mm-hmm. But the main point of it is I got an hour on Twitch, front page, home page, whatever it's called. And um, I don't know. You know, I won a couple with P-Size. One time I made it in chess coach, and I, d- I didn't even know it was made. That's the best way to make it. <laughs> <laughs> we had no time on our clock. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was just check, check, you know, trying to check, and, you know, I knew I had a good position. but And then I made it. And I think I won a couple with P-Size. He's way better than me. Yeah, Ben's online. We're about to raid him. He likes to start a little early, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have a theory on that. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'll tell you after we end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, yeah, let's go on and raid him. Don't, yeah, let's don't raid. Leave yet, don't guys. leave and go over with the raid. Now, come on. No, no, I always no. tell you people. You guys usually listen. Don't make me be like Dikembe Matumbo. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, where, where's my mouse? Like, oh, here oh, we I are. saw it for a second. It came. Oh, there it is. I, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, well, there's going to be another match tomorrow at 4 o'clock, also with Coach. So tune in then. Um, by Marquette Sands. Tune in um, tomorrow if you, you know, got some free time. It's going to be fun. And then probably we'll do another um, so 4 o'clock day. Eastern time. Yeah, 5 o'clock or 5.30 Spencer will jump on again. We'll do our normal um, stream. With I'll play some people. Then we'll have a lesson, etc. Yeah, I'm sorry you missed the match. It was fun, but tomorrow's going to be better because the audio will be better as well. You know, I've never mm-hmm. collaborated with anybody before, so it wasn't bad. But I need to spruce it up a little bit, and it will be better tomorrow. Louder. Yes, I admit it's getting better. <laughs> All right, got that going. See you guys. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye.